We are Ham Radio. All right, so we've done line one. Line two is the advanced config. And first we're gonna configure the other stanzas. This process will ask you for the parameters in info section of the mmdbm underscore bridge dot ini file. Now the frequency of my node here is gonna be four, I'm sorry, 144.800, just for the purposes of this video. And it's a simplex node, so transmit and receive will be the same. This was a repeater node, you'd put the transmit and receive of the repeater, which would be just the reverse of how you put it in the radio. The power of mine, I've got it set at 10 watts. I'm not gonna change my lat and long yet because that's just informational, but you can put your latitude and longitude of your node in there if you wish. The height of mine is about 30 feet because it's upstairs. I don't live in the Iceberg North Atlantic. I do live in Henrietta, Oklahoma. And I'm gonna leave the description as this, and I'm not gonna move the URL. That section is finished. Now you can come down here and configure your favorite talk group reflector names. I'm not doing that just yet. Uh, probably not for this video. I rarely ever touch this part. But I do wanna come down here to additional DMR networks. I wanna change the default DMR server to TGIF. I want to go back and then I want to configure that DMR server. I want to configure TGIF network and hit yes. I want to change the setup. Now, the IP of the TGIF server in there by default is correct. So I'm going to hit enter. But my password is different and I have to go to tgif.network and log in and get my self care password under user security. Hit OK, leave that port as the default, and now it's finished. So now I have to back out. And now I want to go down to Tools, because there's some ports in there I want to change. And we want to configure the analog bridge dot INI. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to scroll down here until we get to USRP. You remember that? USRP? What does USRP stand for? It stands for Universal Software Radio Peripheral. Isn't that neat? So we want to, we want to go down here into USRP, into the tr transmit and the receive port and change this one to 32,001 and change this one to 34,001 because it's going to be just the opposite in our rpt.com for the private node. So trust me, this is just the way it works. And I'm going to change these audio settings from audio unity to audio underscore use gain. Be sure and leave it in uppercase. I'm going to change my USRP gain to 3.00. I'm going to comment out this line and I'm going to change this line from audio unity to audio use gain as well. These are settings that seem to work for me. You can play around with these settings and see how well they work for you. This, this is a customization of your audio as it passes from DMR to analog. Okay, so that's all the changes we're going to make here. We're going to hit Control X, yes to save, and enter to exit. Now I'm going to come down here to, let's check the MMDVM bridge. I'm not sure there's any changes we're going to make in here. And there's not. So we're going to come down here to the dbswitch.ini file. We're going to scroll down here to DMR. And at the export talk group, this is what I like to do. I changed that to my, my DMR ID. I use it as a talk group on TGIF. It is registered. My DMR ID 3143399 is registered with the TGIF network as a talk group as well. So when I talk on it in talk group mode, it is a talk group. So I changed that setting to 3143399. You can come down here and adjust your D-star, 
network settings, your NXDN settings, YSF, etc. And the simple terminal feature update under STFU. And there's your All Star Link transmit and receive ports. So that's the only change I think I'm going to make in there at this time. Hit Control X, yes to save, and enter to exit. Back a menu, and we can restart the DV switch services, or we can reboot the Raspberry Pi server altogether, which you know me. I really like to do that. And now that our node has rebooted, we're going to go back to the landing page, get back into our portal, turn on the admin access. You'll notice up here I changed from node 576333.local to the actual IP address of the node. Sometimes this happens on my computer or my home network. So if I, I it wouldn't load under the host name, the local host name, so I typed in the actual IP address and boom, it went right to it. So remember that as an alternative if you ever run into that issue. So before we do anything else, so before we continue, if you remember, if you had DV Switch server working on your Hamvoip All Star Link node, and you remember, and you remember that you would type in the IP address slash DV switch to access the DV switch dashboard. With this current installation on ASL3, that is not the case. What you do now is type in the IP address forward slash index dot PHP and hit enter. But on a fresh install, you get this because the proper web server is not installed. At least I believe that's what it is. So to fix that, we go back into the terminal and we type in sudo apt install php-cgi and apache2 basically is what we're doing. Hit enter. Now it says after this operation, 5,485 kilobytes of additional space will be used. Do you want to continue? Well, yes, I do. And you let it install. And once that is done, yes, you guessed it, we're going to reboot. Okay, now our node is rebooted and we're back in the node. So let's go back to that page that looked like this and refresh it. And looky there. Yeah, the DV switch dashboard in all its glory. I like it myself because... I can diagnose when I have issue in the network or with my uh, DV switch bridge over to the All Star Link node. Moment of truth, let's go to Almon 3 and refresh the page if you had it open. And you see both your nodes are talking to the Astra server. Let's log in. I'm still at the default now, so we're going to go with Almon 3 for a username and lowercase password for a password. Be sure and change that. And we're logged into Almon 3. Now let's go over here, execute linking. We're going to connect to node 1883. Hit execute. And we are connected. All right, I've got the Anytone DMR radio on my talk group on DMR. I've got my little Baofeng on my ASL3 analog node. So let me key up on All Star and see what we get here. Well, actually, when I set up an analog underscore bridge dot INI in the DV switch menu, I put in these two numbers. What I forgot to do was this. You got to come down here where it says TX talk group number nine and put in the talk group you desire. 314-3399. Now, this can be changed fluidly with a command line, but I want this to remain static because this is my bridge and it's the way I want to do it. So that's where I changed that. Now I'll give you the command line here in just a minute if you want to change it dynamically from a command line. I'm sure you can set up a macro. I'm not that advanced into DV switch server yet, but this is where I want it to remain. This is what I want it to default to every time it reboots. You'll remember I came down here into USRP and changed these audio settings, but you'll want to remember to come up to the to come up to the AMBE underscore audio stanza and then come down here to TXTG and put in that static talk group. Hit Control X, yes to save, and enter to exit. Now, since I did that, I'm going to reboot. Now that we've rebooted, we can log back into Almon 3, 
connect up to our private node and our connection as you can see is established one to the other our public node to our private node which means our toggle is on for our DB switch server let's reboot or refresh the dashboard and now I'll key up from all star link to DMR And you can see it used talk group 3143399. Now I'm going to key up from DMR to All Star Link. And it hit talk group KD5FMU. And that is the same as my talk group. So my bridge is up and running, y'all. <sighs> DV switch server on All Star Link 3. Y'all, this is the greatest thing since, I don't know, sliced bread? <laughs> hey, this is how you do it. So, do you want to change your talk group that your All-Star Link is listening on fluidly, dynamically, I should say? You can do that. And uh, let's take a look at that, shall we? So we can go back to our terminal and reconnect to our node. So from the command line, you can type sudo opt mmdbm underscore bridge slash dv switch dot sh tune and let's say you wanted to go to tgif talk group 918 you'd hit enter and when i key up on all star now it should be trying to send it out on talk group 918 so let's see what happens and look at that it's going out on talk group 918 so let me put my my any tone on that same talk group K85 FMU testing one two three. K85 FMU testing one two three. And that's over TGIF talk group nine one eight. K85 FMU. And that's from talk group nine one eight over to my All Star node, and I have effectively changed talk groups. Now, when I reboot my node, it will default back to three one four three three nine nine. But say I don't want to reboot. Let me just get back to where I'm at. Go back to the terminal. So let's just type in sudo opt mmdbm underscore bridge dv switch dot sh tune 3143399 and hit enter. Now let's go back to our dv switch key up on our, our dv switch dashboard I should say key up on all star. And we're right back to talk group 3143399. How great is that, y'all? K85 FMU. K85 FMU. DB Switch is a wonderful thing, and it's very flexible. And I'm still learning it, y'all, but man, am I having fun. Go forth and have fun with DB Switch on All Star Link 3. So what do you think? Pretty neat, right? <laughs> I tell you what, I just love it. And I love having options. And All Star Link 3 and DB Switch and Skywarn Plus and Supermon and Allmon 3 give you all kinds of options and they just keep coming. You're going to have a lot of fun with it, I guarantee it. So go ahead, try All Star Link 3, try the other add ons, do whatever you want. It's customizable. Have some fun with ham radio. I want to thank you all for the 5,000 subscribers you've given me. Now we're up to 5,100 and it just keeps climbing. And I tell you what, the support just keeps rolling in. And I want you to know I appreciate it. I never knew how far this thing would go or how fast it would get there. But y'all have made it great. I've started my HF journey now. And y'all have been nothing but supportive and helpful because I'm still learning. You know, I teach or try to teach or try to learn more about and teach All Star and you guys are teaching me HF and man, I just appreciate it so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Hey, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours. Ham on, y'all.